but she's squeezing. She's squeezing pretty hard. Oh my, do you see the heart beating? Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog from the BHB Incubator Room, and I'm just gonna take a look at a couple little things really quick. Look at these little snakies here. Of course, these are little spotted pythons. Look at how adorable they are. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love these guys. And I just wanted to check a couple clutches really quick. Not much hatching today, but take a look at all oh, we have here. Oh, look, these guys are still just slitting the eggs. Got some babies in the egg right here. This is a little fire bee right here, which is a pastel fire spider. Looks like just a normal little ball python here. You know guys, if you want me to cut some eggs tomorrow in the video or in the next couple days, let me know in the comments. I don't want to bore you guys with egg cutting video two, three times a week. So let me know if you want me to cut one or two clutches down in the comments. In the meantime, heading over to the shop. And as I'm heading over to the shop, I wanted to wish you guys an absolutely amazing day. What do you say we just push all our problems aside for the next 12 or 15 minutes, enjoy each other. Listen, it's a gloomy day here in Michigan, but let's put a little bit of sunshine on this thing. And that's the thing guys, I'm going to be honest with you. Every day is really an amazing day because you know, I wake up, I go to the shop, you never know what's going to hatch, what's going to breed, what's going to be eating, what's going to happen. I mean, it's really, truly amazing to kind of follow your dreams and do what you really love because I wake up and I'm always excited to see like what is going to come my way today because it's never the same. Not to mention now we've got the Reptarium. That is super exciting. I know that I'm just going to be like installing speakers today and working on a few other things, but it's going to be absolutely incredible to see the progress. Oh, and I did get a tattoo yesterday, so when I get over to the shop, I'll show you it. Before I jump into my day, I told you guys I would show you my new tattoo. Of course, this is my new crocodile that is added to my animal sleeve. Of course, done by Bob Tyrell, the legend in black and gray. We have a lot going on today. We're actually going to check on the maternal ball python. And if they haven't started to hatch, we're going to go ahead and cut those eggs. I've got to work with Lucy a little bit later. And that, there's a whole bunch of stuff. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. So we're going to be cleaning up Lucy and Daisy today. And I did need some help from you guys because, uh, you know, I'm really, I made that huge cage, that 10 foot by six foot by seven foot cage for Lucy. But I'm gonna be honest with you, she is a lot of craziness. And although now that she's laid her clutch of eggs, which are about ready to hatch pretty soon, she's definitely chilled out as far as the bite mode goes. You can see I'm not worried about her at all, but she's just kind of a, a big animal. And you gotta wonder like, do I wanna walk into a cage and be face to face with something like this? So I'm not 100% sure. Listen, we have some eight foot by six foot cages that are still really huge. What do you think I should do? Should I should I put her in the big cage or should I keep her in a cage that's a little easier to go with? I don't know, I need your advice. But I tell you what, she's definitely a big animal and uh, I'm hoping she's in a good mood right now. Uh, oh, and by the way, uh, you can take a look and see. Oh my gosh. Uh-oh. Oh, I tell you what, that, that was pretty freaky. I'm not gonna lie. And she's squeezing, she's squeezing pretty hard. Okay, uh, that's that's just a lot of years of experience dealing with big snakes and not getting upset about things. Uh oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, so Lucy went from being like really acting completely mellow and not concerned at all. As soon as they start to tense up and that tongue starts sticking out and staying out, you have to be really careful. And she's squeezing me pretty hard right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. She's fine, I'm not concerned about it at all. But again, that's a, all that experience for a lot of years, knowing how to read snakes and knowing what to do. There was a couple little dicey moments there where you know, her tongue was coming out and she was kind of facing up towards me. And I knew there was a chance she could just lunge at me. And with her wrapped around me like this, there was nothing I could do. I am completely at her mercy right now, but uh, okay, well, this has been fun. She was squeezing me so hard, Siri, my phone went off. Oh, crazy. <laughs> but I think that she's gonna be okay. But again, let me know if you guys, should I put her in the big cage or maybe we'll at least just give it a shot and see what happens. But even for someone like me that's really comfortable around big, big snakes, it's gonna be a little intimidating walking face on and, and look at her now, man, She's she's got me, I mean, that's it, right there. I mean, in a way it's cool, but in a way it's kind of a little bit scary. Well, let's go ahead and check on that maternal girl. Like I said, if these eggs haven't hatched, I'm definitely getting a little bit concerned about it. And uh, nope, they haven't hatched. And look at how she's loosened up. So I think what we're gonna do is actually take this girl off her eggs. Okay, mom, you're all right. Okay. Ugh. You did such a good job, okay? You can see those eggs are a little bit touchy. I'm gonna actually have Kelsey cut these eggs. These are the first eggs you've cut, right? Yes. Okay, so basically all you wanna do is just make sure you just cut just into the egg right there. 
But uh, let's go ahead and see if there's any live babies in here. I'm definitely a little bit concerned about this. Uh, I'm nervous. <laughs> You'll be all right. I'm right here to watch you. Oh, there we go. We got a little... Yeah, then just ride that around. Okay, well, there's definitely a baby in here. Oh, there's a little face. And it's, it. This one is definitely alive. So we have one live baby for sure. Mama, it's okay. Let's go ahead and see this egg here. These other two eggs don't look quite as good. I'm a little bit more concerned about these. Oh, it's moving. Oh my gosh. It's moving. Yay. So we got two babies. The thing that I will say is these babies look absolutely enormous. I mean, much, much bigger than any of the other babies we've had. Wow, okay, we're gonna cut that last egg. I can tell you for sure, that egg, that, that egg doesn't look good at all. There doesn't look like there's anything there. So let's cut that last egg and see if we've got a third good baby. Yeah, that egg, I don't like the way that last egg looks. I'm gonna be honest with you. It does look like we have one really good baby, one baby that I think is gonna be okay, and then one baby that is moving around but just does not look too good to me. So uh, there you have it, guys, maternal incubation. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this clutch in here. Hopefully mom will wrap back around him, and hopefully we'll get some shots of her with the babies crawling out. We'll see what happens, but at least they are alive, so that's really good news. So this is absolutely bizarre. Mary actually came to me earlier, and one of the baby pastel champagne she said looked really weird can you see right there where it looks like it's got an enlarged kind of bulge right here oh my gosh i have never seen anything like this it's actually a huge heart oh my do you see the heart beating i i have never seen anything like this before take a look at that Literally the heart, you could see the heart, you could see like two sides of the heart beating. Oh my gosh, and you can see when you look at the whole body that it's just a little bit thicker right here. And you can certainly see when you look from the underbelly, you can see like two big chambers beating. Oh my gosh, I've never seen anything like that before. I've actually seen some enlarged hearts, but I've never seen a snake where you can literally see the heart beating. That is trip. I don't know if this animal is going to do well or not. I have no idea. I've never seen anything like that in all the years I've worked with reptiles. Oh my gosh. I tell you, I am absolutely blown away by that. Well, I tell you, what, I'm going to do everything I can do. I, I'm thinking that I'm going to have to probably feed smaller meals to this because it's obviously got a really huge heart. I mean, snake's heart is always about a third of the way down its body but I've never seen one this big, so it certainly could be a little bit of an issue with eating a larger meal, and I'm gonna have to baby this one. I have no idea what's gonna happen with this. I mean, it looks completely healthy other than that. It's got good tongue response, mobility is really good. Oh, wow, I'll keep you guys posted. I mean, th that's something completely new. I've never seen that before. You know, it's been far too long since we've done a little bit of a mail time segment, so uh, we have a couple things that we're gonna open up. What do you think that is? I have no idea. I have no idea. Ugh. Thank you guys for always sending us such amazing stuff. Sorry I haven't been unboxing stuff lately from the mail, but uh, but I do appreciate you guys tremendously and I wanted to take a look. Uh, let's see what we have here. Ooh, oh, wait a second. It must be something for me. It's, it's a Dun Dunkin' Donuts Coffee. original. Oh, let's see Love what this it. is. Always appreciate the coffee. It says, my name is Paris Hoffman. I'm 14 years old and a huge fan of reptiles. Thank you, Paris. Thank you for doing this. Love watching your vlogs. They're always fun, entertaining, and educational. Happy early birthday to Miss Barczyk. Hope you have a great day. Well, thank you. That's I appreciate awesome. it so much, and this will make my day. This is awesome. Thank you, Paris. This is fantastic, and uh, I can't thank you enough. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That must be for the dog. Oh, or is it for you? No, yeah. no I, I'm not excited because I think it's for me. Let's go ahead and give them to the oh pup. Oh my goodness. What are these? I don't know, Ben's Sugar Shack. They look like maple Look mousse. at this. Oh my gosh, these look fantastic. Yeah. I bet you the Pure pups maple are... syrup, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let's go ahead and give these to the pups. Oh my goodness. Zeus's, Zeus's, guess what you got? Ooh. Oh, oh, he's so gentle. Look at Phoebe. Wait a second. Hold on, girl. There you go, Phoebe. Don't Phoebe. take Zeusies. There, there you go. go. She's like, I don't know. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> what 
take it, silly monkey. <laughs> She's so scared of new things. <laughs> <laughs> She'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely awesome. Okay, so there's also a shirt in here. I think this is yours. Oh my God, my <laughs> pet can eat your pet. I, I like that, I like that idea. Although I'm not gonna have any pets that eat any other pets, but uh, let's open this up. What is this? Ooh, I don't know. Hold on, it's heavy. Oh. oh, New Hampshire pure maple syrup. Oh my gosh, awesome. that is awesome. Wow. I, I think we got pancakes. So that's, uh, Paris, thank you for all this. This is absolutely amazing. And as always, we put our PO box in the description. So if you guys ever send us anything, we absolutely do appreciate it. Laura, you've got one other thing? I did. Well, actually there was two. I already opened this, but oh, Duluth <laughs> Trading sent me this I'd rather be paddling sticker, which was super cool. And I don't know who it is, because it just says Duluth Trading. But it's crazy, you. yeah. Duluth Duluth Trading has sent us some things over the time. So whoever works at Duluth Trading, thank you. You guys are absolutely incredible. Love your brand. It's good. So what did, what did they got? And then this is from Leah, Leah Brumley. Okay. And it looks like a shirt. And oh, <laughs> another paddleboard reference. Oh, it got a the paddleboard. A tank tab that says life with a paddleboard. <laughs> awesome. And it's a great summer color. It makes me look real tan. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Thank so, you so much. It's awesome. Well, thanks guys again for all your support. You guys mean the world to me. And uh, I'm glad that we had a little mail time, but uh, I got to get back to work. Back downstairs with Kelsey, we have a clutch of ball pythons too. Yes, we do. All right, we let's have, see what we have. It's a pastel bread to a fire bee. Okay, that looks like a good clutch. I mean, at least she's piled up real nice. Let's see what she has in here. Oh yeah, it looks like a good clutch of eggs. That look at looks that. Nice. Nice. Oh, it's okay. Beautiful. It's okay, Mama. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that is so good. So what do we have here? We have two, four, six, seven good eggs. That is fantastic. So that's cool. Ball python eggs still coming. We're hatching like crazy. These guys are gonna incubate for another 60 days. Chances are we're gonna be hatching baby ball pythons probably in October, which is all completely fine. So uh, there you go. Good job, Kelsey. Keep up the good work. Thank you. You know, I swear I change shirts more than anyone I absolutely know. So thanks to Morph Mixology for sending me this shirt. I tell you, it is super comfy. I like the design. And uh, it is absolutely a comfortable shirt. I tell you what, guys, I think I'm going to spend some time over here at the Reptarium just putting my speakers in the ceiling, running a bunch of wires, getting the TV set up, get the receiver, do all that kind of stuff. Just kind of chunk things out. You know what I mean? Every day that I can get some stuff done is better. As a matter of fact, take a look at this. These are all actually heat pads for the cages. They're what they call hog pads, which are pretty cool. I'll show you guys them and how they work as we get going here. So I'm going to end the vlog and just climb up on a ladder and put these speakers in and stuff like that. <laughs> Hope that you guys have an amazing day. And I hope that you enjoyed today's vlog. I know it was kind of weird with that big hearted animal. I don't know what that was about, but it's definitely very interesting. Regardless, you guys have an absolutely amazing day. I love you guys so much. Do me a couple favors before we get out of here. Can you smash that like button? Turn those post notifications on. Make a comment so I can read about you guys. Be kind to someone, and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs>